Okay, so I want to arrive into my anchor point within the tree. First throw in, tip size system. This is a base tied system. When I've arrived, basically got myself onto my lanyard, made sure that my first system is tight, my second system in tight. My ground staff can now remove my weights if I've got them on the base of the saw, but also remove my ground anchor so I can pull that up to me and I can progress on into the tree. To do that, I need to remove this chicane as it's uh, for the SRT, it uh, gives me friction when I'm coming up and down. In this stage, I'm going to go up, so I need to use this top carabiner. I could go alongside it. Yeah, but I just need to disengage it. So I can take that off there. I can leave that on, or I can remove it and stow it somewhere on my harness so that I can use it in a minute. At this stage, I'll probably leave him in there. All right, below? Yep. Hey, if you want to pull that uh, ice blow up to me, please. And the ground anchor's undone. I just hold my device. Once I've got my ground anchor set to me, I'll use my ice splice. And as you see, I can clip it alongside the chicane. Now, you can also have this engaged. The double rope if you want to, it just adds a lot of friction to go down. But for going up the tree, it makes not a lot of difference. So I can just pull that in and start tensioning myself on my system that was used as ground anchor until I'm back on. Now I need to disengage and check what was my tip tight system. So I'm on this one and this one, backing myself up. And it gives me time to undo my knots and whatever blocking system I've used on my tip tight system. I'll pop that carabiner in there. I'm gonna use that in a minute to be able to double rope with the akimbo. Remove my stopper knot. Don't drop your saver, you may need that a little bit later. And basically I've got my second rope there that I can use to advance onto. And now, the best way to advance up the tree is to again, pitch climb up as a, as a double rope system, maintaining my two anchor points. Be careful not to climb more than 250 millimeters above my anchor point. The Kimbo can be used just as conveniently with a moving rope system, a double rope system, as it can be with a single device. Once I've got that in, get my carabiner to the right side, once we're on the back side of that one. Clip into there. This stage, double check everything's working there's no conflict that it's holding you both these systems are loose okay so i'm on this one and then i'll continue to climb the tree exactly the same as i would do on a moving rope configuration going back onto two ropes going back onto three ropes as i climb up the canopy okay so I'm going to install a cambium saver on my stationary rope system. The reason for this is I still, even though the rope's not moving as much in a moving rope system, the rope still has conflict with the tree, so these thin bark species need to be protected. And it also aids to your rope retrieval if you look at um, setting cambium savers in the tree. I've got one here that I can actually use to set two individual anchor points on one system, but you could just as easily use two independent anchors or a ring and some other device to enable you to retrieve your system when you finish climbing. So, I'll place this one in the tree. On my high anchor point, and I'm going to get my SRT system. Now to aid you pull the rope through this stage, it's because you're going to move quite a lot of rope, it pays just to take the chicane, disengage the chicane. It's on your system, it can't fall off. Then you can just pull some rope that will help you 
tie perhaps a blocking knot in there that you can use. So, set that one down and what I'm going to do here is so this will be my retrieve line and maybe a rescue line. I'm going to retrieve this, send this one all the way down to the ground and then I'm going to tie myself a, a blocking knot against that carabiner. Okay, so I've communicated with the ground staff, there's enough rope on the ground that somebody could come in a tree and I can reach it to retrieve it. So what I'm going to do now in this side is tie myself a blocking knot so it goes up and cinches against my cambium saver. I tend to retrieve with the tail of my climbing line, not the eye splice. So I put my rings in such a way that I know that when this side goes through with my retrieve ball, it will pick up on the small ring and pull it out. So I retrieve in that direction. A blocking knot I tend to use. It's an Alpine butterfly. Because it gives me a large diameter of rope that I can cinch up against my anchor point. That locks in there. The thing to be aware of with an Alpine butterfly, it's an open knot, so if this loop slips through, you're going to come out of the tree. So always back it up with a, with a carabiner or something that you can use. Make sure you've got some spare stuff with you, something you can use to make sure there's no way this tail can disappear through there. Okay, so I'm on that system again. Set it back on the single line climbing, so I'm engaging the chicane. Make sure it functions. So that's held me in there nicely. Okay. Now I can bring the other side of my cambium saver into play. Similar setup. I can just put it on this lower fork. So I'm backing up my anchor points using the same portion of the tree. I'm on two anchors. Now I can do something very similar with my other line. So again, both could be used for retrieval. I tend to use the highest one. Pulling some slack through. Setting myself an Alpine butterfly. To stop this one I'm doing, I'm going to feed the tail back through so it's self-locking. And then so it's retrievable, I'm going to add it into this side. So that when I pull this line down, it will also pull this line down. The tail of this rope will catch in the cambium saver and pull it down to the ground. Because I'm in a beech tree, naturally there are a lot of tight forks in the tree. As the cambium saver falls, it could well fall into a fork. So to help mitigate that risk, I've just got myself a retrieve line. Just a light line that I'm going to put into top of my cambium saver and it helps control the cambium savers fall to the ground. Also if you're working over car parks, over roads, it saves your aluminium rings falling onto the ground. Okay so once I've set my anchor points, set them for retrieval or however you want to climb, perhaps you're going to come back and revisit them, I'm going to move down and go over in the canopy and put in another redirect. One of the main benefits of SRT compared to the double rope I did just now is that I just have two pieces of rope to move rather than four. Uh, so the friction is managed by my devices rather than the hitches and the rope. So same procedure, slacken this lanyard but leave it on. Now I'm going to move down independently, moving one system and then the other system to make sure that I can be held by either of them. So to do this I'm just going to swing out the space and slacken off the akimbo. Good. I'm going to set off the rope wrench. So the akimbo's got me. So they're both working independently on two independent anchors. Once I'm happy with that, the carabiners are not conflicted and crossed. Remove my lanyard. And then I can move myself down the tree to wherever I need to go to. Lanyard it in, 
Testing his second anchor, same as before. Flats in there, checking both systems. Slacking them off so that I'm into this anchor and I'm held. Then I just need to decide what I'm gonna do here. I could, because I'm on two, three systems, I'm in my lanyard, I could slacken one system off completely and I could move all of my ropes through this fork and use it as a natural redirect and go down and work the canopy. That's a benefit if I don't need to come back to this point. Or I could put in an artificial redirect. You could do the same with double rope, just on a single line there's a lot less friction to manage. So I've got a range of uh, redirects with me. Okay, so I'm going to put a redirect up here. The range of options, you can use a sling, uh, you can use a prosthetic hitch. In this case, I'm going to use another cambium saver. The beauty of these is they're adjustable, so if you've got a big stem that you need to make yourself a redirect, bring both eyes together. Deploy a carabiner. Rotate them so there's no conflict. And then depending on what type of redirect you, you want, whether it's fixed or whether it's a running, in this case, because it's a nice open branch, I can go straight into the carabiner. So once you're into your redirect, just be a case then of checking that it's got you properly. I'm slacking my lanyard to lower myself down into my two systems. And then once I'm happy, everything's done up because I've been moving stuff around, then my anchor point is suitable. And then remove my lanyard and I have the same benefits now that I had with the double rope. I can use my systems to lower me from one side of the tree or to lower me back in the other side of the tree to get myself into a work position.